Former WorldCom CEO Bernie Ebers, who was convicted of orchestrating a multi-billion dollar fraud at that company, died yesterday at the age of 78, according to his family. The scandal, of course, resulted in WorldCom's 2002 bankruptcy. At the time, it was the largest Chapter 11 case in U.S. history. Ebers had served more than 13 years of a 25-year prison term before he was released this last December due to his failing health. In a statement, his family members expressed their sincere gratitude to the judge for er Ebers' early release. It was uh, certainly a blessing he got to spend uh, his last few months uh, with his family. Of course, I remember Mr. Ebers well. We played uh, parts of our uh, interview many times, uh, the last one that he did. Um, people may not remember, of course, that he was a towering figure, not just because he was 6'4", <laughs> but uh, in the world of telecom for, uh, for a number of years, probably almost for a decade. Uh, you know, at one time a, a gym teacher, at another time a guy who uh, uh, was in the garment business uh, and then started LDDS, a right. uh, small entrepreneur down in Mississippi, a bunch of friends who started this uh, company uh, and always had this focus on costs. Um, but I have talked oftentimes, I think, about the mythology that was created by Wall Street and the way that I, I believe they use Bernie Evers in some, almost as a front man for an organization that delivered enormous amounts of fees to the likes of Solomon Brothers and Citigroup. There are analysts there, there are bankers there who orchestrated so many of the deals that they did with this idea that Evers was better than everybody else in terms of running this business and allowed WorldCom to become one of the largest telecommunications companies in the world. Uh, it was a myth. Uh, it was one that, it, it, that Ebers partook in in part and played the role of. Um, do I really think that he understood the intricacies of the accounting that went on at WorldCom? No. Uh, I don't. Um, and so I, I do sometimes think of that oftentimes and reminded our viewers of it. Wall Street will do that. Right. Billions. Well, potentially billions in fees well, you, as a result uh, of all the deals that they were able to do with this idea that he was simply able to do it better. We covered it all, David. At the time, people listened to you. You would have seen at least what could, what you could argue was going on. But the thing I know that was shocking was the Justice Department went after him with everything it had. Yeah. Yeah. And that punishment of 25 years did seem... It, it's, when you look at it now, with certainly with well, perspective, yes. it was so far yeah. beyond anything else that was received during that period of time. Um, but our condolences to, uh, to Mr. Evers' family on his passing.